Like actually, my... now that I look at this, some of these wigs were pulled off on my old show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I, yeah. I, I, rec I recognize oh, one of them. Some of them yeah. ring a bell? The plaintiff, Reg Ruby Eldredi, and you are suing your former friend, Quincy Twix Adams, for $193 for a ruined wig. I lent a wig to Quincy a couple of months ago. We did a show together and he came over to my house. It was great, it was cute, it was a cute little kiki. When you say you did a show together, you do a drag show? Yes. Um, ever. Okay. Uh, yeah. Normally they take place in the bars, but the past couple of months we have moved to digital shows. So I do that once a week and I like to invite another drag performer to do it with me. Uh, it just makes it a lot more fun to have a co-host because drag is a very social community based sure. art form. So I invited, oh, okay. I invited Quincy over at the end of the night. He said, hey, sis, like I have a photo shoot coming up. Can you help me out? Like I need a wig. Um, I don't have anything to wear for it. And I said, yeah. I get it. Okay, Twix, how do you want to respond to this? Hi, Your Honor. I am a, a performer, a uh, drag performer. I uh, actually perform all over the city in, city, in Phoenix and in Scottsdale. And I met uh, Reg or Ruby in the clubs and uh, we performed together several times. Um, it was like a working relationship. When I came over to their house for the online drag show, I thought we had a good relationship and that, you know, I could ask a friend to borrow something. And I don't know, obviously not. Um, if you look at exhibit A, I have um, a shelf full of wigs. I have probably like 50 something wigs. Oh, wow. Especially yeah. since the virus, I've been investing a lot of money into it. Into Actually, my... now that I look at this, some of these wigs were pulled off on my old show. I just said, girl, like, go get whatever wig you want. Um, just make sure I get it back. You, like, she knows I spend, I spend coin on my wigs, like, especially lately because I'm only seen on camera from the waist up. So yeah, I spent $200 on a wig and that was the one that she took. So what happened? Well, the photo shoot came out and I saw it online. In exhibit B, you can see what I ordered. Uh, it was a high ponytail. Um, it still had the lace on it. It was like yeah. Ariana Grande style, like high pony. And then right. when the photo shoot came out, it was that same wig, but she had taken it down and worn it like down her back, which the reason why it was $200 was because it, co it cost so much money to, or I mean, it, it takes time to do that, to like sculpt the ponytail into what it is. So Twix changed the hairstyle yes. of it, mm -hmm. but did Twix like cut it with scissors or anything? I don't believe so. It looks like she just wanted it for the length. If she had cut it, then this suit is about you getting it back. You could still have it back and nothing would be ruined. You just have to put it back in the same style. But if you cut it, then it's ruined in terms of yes. the length. Um, but I, she didn't do that. So I in other honestly, words, you could get this back and it would be, you could have the same hairstyle you wanted it to be. I don't really want the wig back. I want a new one. The reason why it was so expensive is not because of the wig itself. It's because of the work that someone did to turn it into a high ponytail. If I got that wig back, I would have to pay to get that done again. When I can't find the right wig, <laughs> oh I, a lot of you guys don't know this, but <laughs> I let my eyebrows grow long and then just comb them straight oh, no. back. Yeah. I know, that, I know uh, some queens that do the same thing, trust me. I've seen everything. This is my laugh button because I don't get enough laughs. <laughs> okay. All right, so the reason it costs specifically $193 is because of the work that goes into styling it that way. Yes. Well, you're in the business of being an entertainer, and even though... It's new to me what Ruby was just saying about the wig that the reason it costs $193 is because of all the preparation that went into it. Wouldn't you realize that if you took that wig and tried to put a different style on it, you would be ruining the value of that wig? How do you respond to that? Well, Your Honor, um, the situation was that uh, when I asked Ruby if I could have this wig, she told me, like she said, that I could pick one out uh, from her room and when I went in and picked one out, the, the wig in question was actually on the floor in a pile of like discarded wigs. 
if it was that expensive of a wig, I don't think that I would have thrown it on the floor and discarded it like it was, and I would have taken better care of it. And so I think, honestly, that she is attempting to get a new wig out of the situation. And um, I, when I took the wig for the photo shoot, I actually uh, took the ponytail out and I clipped the bangs back. And so there was no cutting involved. There was nothing like that. Um, and the wig is actually still really cute and you're still able to use it. And so um, I don't think that the wig was ruined at all. Well, I'm getting all wigged out here. Uh, I'm, I think... Nice, nice. <laughs> Gonna need batteries for that, Judge. Yeah, that was <laughs> a good battery. one, Your Honor. Yeah. Okay, Twix, you do have a, a responsibility when you either borrow or have possession of someone else's property that they are entitled to think that it's coming back the same as when they first gave it to you. Right. So my judgment is in favor of the plaintiff for the $193. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Judge.